Hey guys, with summer right around the corner, we are going to be making a very simple side dish you could take to barbecues, you could serve at dinner. It's just a nice cold broccoli salad that's quick to put together and it's gonna be delicious every time. You can even change up the seasonings, you can change up the add-ins, but I'm gonna show you what I like to do for a quick and simple cold broccoli salad side dish. So you want two large heads of broccoli cut into florets, but I found this bag of just large chunks that I thought would be a lot easier. So if you have the convenience, you can use these or you could just buy the broccoli heads. So what I'm gonna do is just cut these into the size of my liking. So like bite-sized basically. Like that looks good, some big, some small. And then we're just gonna add them to a bowl. And right now on the stove top, I have a large stock pot coming to a boil. It has water like halfway up the sides because we're gonna blanch the broccoli just for a minute. So I've got my cut up broccoli florets and the water is boiling, perfect. So we're gonna drop these in and remember just one minute, it's a quick blanch and then we're gonna hit it with cold water after we drain it. So let's head over to the stove. All right, so I am going to just add everything in and you'll know because it'll turn a super bright green cook it slightly, still has a bite, and then you hit it with cold water. Add it to an ice bath, you can just drain it and then top it with cold water to stop the cooking process. So you can see if you come in that like the broccoli has turned super bright green. So this is cooked, like this is totally edible at this point. I am going to drain this, getting a nice facial. Broccoli facials, the next celery juice. So I've drained it and now I'm gonna remove this lid and get some cold water in here. I'm even gonna hit it with some cubes to ensure the cooking process has stopped. So while the broccoli is chilling, let's make the sauce that this is all gonna be coated in. So it's really simple. We're gonna be doing some mayo, some apple cider vinegar, and some fresh squeezed lemon juice. So we're gonna start with a cup of mayonnaise. This is like my fantasy and this is like the grossest thing for Matt to see. This dog can. People are gonna be so grossed out. They're gonna be like, oh, you just lost your finger. Okay, and to this cup of mayo, we are going to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. The acidity will go really, really nice with this from both the vinegar and the lemon juice. And then like two teaspoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Now we're just gonna give this a nice stir. Now we just gotta add the rest of our ingredients and then refrigerate this so it's nice and cold before we give it a taste test. So let's check on the broccoli. So we're gonna drain that completely and maybe pat it dry. We don't want it like too watery to add to this because then that'll make this whole salad a little watery. So let's get, head over to the broccoli. All right, so I've drained the broccoli. I'm just giving it a little pat dry. So I am going to add the broccoli to this first off. And, oh, Joe's got a broccoli. And then we're going to just add the remaining ingredients, which is half a teaspoon of pink salt, eight slices of bacon cooked and chopped up. So this is bacon that we pre-cooked and we just chopped it up roughly, large pieces, small pieces, all of that. We're just gonna add it right in. Red pepper flakes is also an option if you want a little kick to it. I'm not a personal fan of red pepper flakes, so I'm gonna leave that out. And then the last ingredient is sunflower seeds. So we're gonna do half a cup. Also good would be pumpkin seeds. Could be really any types of uh, any type of nuts. You can do sliced almonds. Now let's just give this a mix. Probably want like a wider bowl, <laughs> easier mixing. Okay, so broccoli salad's done but I'm gonna refrigerate this for at least an hour up to two. And that's what you'd wanna do before you bring it somewhere, or before you serve it. And the flavors just meld together a little bit better. And I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then we'll be back in an hour to give it a taste test. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's grab our broccoli salad out of the fridge. So before I serve it or try it, I would give it another big, nice stir. So let's give it a try, get some bacon, sunflower seeds, broccoli. That is so simple and would honestly pair perfect 
with any like hunk of meat or any other food. The broccoli is cooked perfectly. You wanna make sure you blanch it just briefly for like a minute because you still want that nice hearty bite to the broccoli. And then refrigerating it allowed like the bacon flavor to immerse throughout all the broccoli salad. But yeah, this is a perfect cold summer salad, broccoli salad recipe that I highly recommend you make and bring to your next barbecue, your next gathering and impress your friends and family and stay keto. In the description below is the recipe linked with the ingredients and the recipe on how to make this and have fun with it. Let us know what you decide to do in the comments. You can like tell us how much you loved it, how much you hated it, whatever you want. We're open to all feedback. Thanks for joining me.